Now, there are many different coffee choices, espresso, latte, cappuccino, but now you can drink java produced in part from, and wait for this, the back end of a cat, an Indonesian jungle cat to be exact. David McKenzie examines what is undoubtedly the world's strangest brew. Rich, dark, full of flavor. Cafe Raro, touted as the world's most expensive coffee. Sold at Peter Jones, upmarket department store in London. It will set you back about $100 a cup. But the store says it's for charity. It's causing a stir. For more than just the cost. The beans themselves are a Blue Mountain blend and a blend from Southeast Asia that's linked to a civet cat. Linked to the civet cat? In fact, the cat-like Asian palm civet takes more than a passing interest in this brew. Each bean takes an arduous journey through the animal. The beans are collected, cleaned, roasted, and eventually enjoyed by the coffee connoisseurs the world over. Excellent. <laughs> this coffee might not have been digested through the bowels of an Indonesian palm civet, but it costs only a few bucks. They say, though, that for charity and exclusivity, people will line up to buy it. We asked some Londoners whether they would pay for the drink with such interesting origins. No, I wouldn't interest you because that's dirty, that's far. Uh, no, I'd give the money to charity. I wouldn't consume the coffee. What I would do is I'll pay £200 for charity if somebody else drank it. Uh, we're going to make it with a prima donna. Which of is, course. Uh, long, yes, of course. The long but the expert assures me that the Raro coffee is something you should definitely try once. I think uh, it's, it's something that you will never uh, try again. I think uh, the taste is really great. Indeed. Oh, <clears throat> very strong. Very good. So far, they've sold four cups of this stuff since Wednesday. They only have 59 tins left, so hurry. 59 tins left, and we managed to have um, one of them right here. I mean, this has to be one of the more interesting assignments that's in your journalistic career, right? Yes, well, there's a, it's very much the most interesting and the most gratifying, I have to say. And uh, yes, this, this little tin here is 50 pounds, $100 for this tin. In fact, you also have to pay, spend $100 just for a shot. You know, uh, we've made some over here. You have Italian roast, French roast, as you know. You've even got Turkish coffee. But this is called Kopi Luwak. It comes from a civet. Kopi Luwak means civet coffee. So the civets forage through the ground. They find the red berries and it passes through the civet and straight into your coffee. So we're going to try a little bit. Well, You're I'll, going to try a little bit. <laughs> I'll try a little bit. You saw me in the package trying uh, some of this coffee. I have uh, a producer in my ear telling me to drink that uh, coffee. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to pour another <laughs> cup just in case. Uh, but you know, this, this coffee is actually for a good cause. It's for the charity Macmillan's that do uh, cancer research. And uh, I'm going to cheers. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll try this else. coffee. A hundred dollars, it's, it's like liquid gold and Mm. They say it's smooth or earthy. I've read uh, uh, one uh, description that says it's gamey, which is a little bit disturbing. Um, but uh, this coffee is now the toast of London. Uh, the toast of London. Well, maybe not everywhere in London. But um, <laughs> listen, thanks very much for doing that. It's a long Any way from time. Kenyan politics. Yes, Kenyan politics to the best coffee in the world. Uh, the best coffee in the world. Okay. Uh, thanks very much indeed for joining us, David. And uh, let's now go straight away to Guillermo Arduino, who I'm sure has no comment to make on this at all. No, the only comment I want to make is that that you are drinking that with water out of the Thames. Oh, that's true. That's a very good Quiet. point, actually. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me tell you something about something serious that is going on here.